Today's story is going to be Mr. Seahorse by Eric Hart. Mr. and Mrs. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea. Mrs. Seahorse began to wiggle and twist this way and that. It's time for me to lay my eggs, she said. Can I help? asked Mr. Seahorse. Oh, yes, thank you, said Mrs. Seahorse. And she laid <coughs> her eggs into a pouch on Mr. Seahorse's belly. I'll take you good care of our eggs, said Mr. Seahorse. I promise. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, her passed right by a group of trumpet fish hidden in a patch of reeds. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How about you, Mr. Stickleback? asked Mr. Seahorse. Delighted, replied Mr. Stickleback. I just built a nest and ran away, Mrs. Stickleback. Laid her eggs into it. Now I am talking. I am taking good care of them until they hatch. Keep up the good work, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, her pass, he passed right by a lionfish hidden behind a coral reef. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How about you, Mr. Talapia? asked Mr. Seahorse. Mr. Talapia couldn't answer it. His mouth was full of eggs. I know, I know, said Mr. Seahorse. Mrs. Taplia laid her egg. Now you are taking good care of them until they hatch. Mr. Talapia nodded his head. You must be very happy, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by several leaf fish hidden among the seaweed. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How about you, Mr. Curtis? asked Mr. Seahorse. Perfectly fine, replied Mr. Curtis. Mrs. Curtis, laid her eggs and I have stuck them on the head. Now I am taking good care of them until they hatch. You're doing a good job, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a stonefish hidden behind a rock. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How about you, Mr. Pipe? asked Mr. Seahorse. Couldn't be better, replied Mr. Pipe. Mrs. Pipe laid her eggs along my belly, knowing taking good care of them until they hatch. You should feel proud of yourself, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How about you, Mr. Bullhead? asked Mr. Seahorse. Tip top, replied Mr. Bullhead. Mrs. Bullhead laid her eggs and the eggs hatched. Now I'm babysitting. You are doing a fine job, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. The time had come for the seahorse babies to be born. Mr. Seahorse wiggled and twisted this way and that. At last, the babies tumbled from Mr. Seahorse's patch into one way. One baby turned around and tried to come back into the patch. Oh no, said Mr. Seahorse. I will do love you, but now you are ready to be on your own. The end.